Hey everyone, thanks for hanging back out with us again today. We got in a really exciting show to show you today. We got all kinds of new stuff just came in from a bunch of our friends and uh, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to show you from our friends at 8-Bit Baits. Make sure you check them out. If you remember a couple videos ago, we did some of their new uh, holla shift powders they got. Well, they sent us something special in here. And we're going to share what we got. Let's check. Here, let's move this so you guys can see this. Look at these. These are their new siren scales. Very, very cool flake and they're very high heat uh, temperature controlled so you can put them in reheat is okay you know what they reheat just fine and they add all kinds of colors and just crazy flake they're like an inconsistent cut so you can kind of see there we got all kinds of different ones of those Look at all these. Nice. Very cool. Very, very cool colors. Crazy. Awesome, and then three more here. What we got here? Whoops, these ones. Very, very cool. Well, I'm real excited to try those and some stuff. And what else do we got in here? Great packaging. They're like the pull strips. They're in. They velcro and everything. Very, very cool. Oh, look at all these guys. These are all their polish shift um, flake. And uh, these ones are the pearls. So they add very cool effects. But they still keep it semi-translucent. They have this other kind that actually changes the color of your baits. But these will actually just add a cool highlight effect to them. And we got so many of these. Oh my goodness, dude. This is so crazy. I can't believe all these. Wow, dude. Very, very cool. But that's not all. Oh, look at, this is what I was saying, see? Now, whoop, get back here, you. Now, these ones, see the, you can kind of see their colors more. These ones will actually change your pigments and alter the colors. The other ones add more of a highlight feature. These actually change it. Add very cool. Recognize that, B-Spin. We have our B-Spin perch that we make with this color here. And we got tons of these ones. And then one more baggie here. Oh, can't go without the stickers. 8-Bit Baits. Check them out. That's his channel, Bait Chuckin'. Make sure you check them out if you don't already know. His site is really, really cool. He's got some awesome things going on. 8-Bit Baits. That's a cool one. Another one. This feels... I think this is like a coaster. That's kind of cool. Very cool. So, that's awesome. Now, another new thing we got. Well, kind of new. Um... Dead on, we only use dead on plastics, plastisol. We've used other brands in the past, but 
for the past five or six years, we will only stick with that on and we'll probably only stick with that on for the for sea future. But as far as uh, the other plastic places go, most of their uh, plastic is uh, a phthalate brand, uh, brand plasticizer in it. So it could be more harmful and all dead on plastic, plastic saw is a uh, uh, non phthalate. Well, till now, now they have a red label. You can see there. This is the phthalate brand or phthalate formula. So uh, we're going to run this. And I hear it's better for injections uh, than open pouring. So we're going to do some injections with this and uh, check it out. It's supposed to bubble less, uh, maintain perfect clarity. It may be a little more, uh, have more of a uh, smell to it while it's cooking, but that goes right away. So we're going to give that a try. So new colors, new plastisol. So now we need something new to shoot it in. Well, our friends at Angling AI also has something new. The Tracer Shed. I'm sure you guys have seen it. But we got the Tracer Shed, the 4-inch Tracer Shed. And... Uh, we got the tail mold for it too. So we're gonna get in gear and uh, get set up. And uh, we're gonna check out some new colors with some new plastisol and a new mold. Okay, so I, I heard the new tracer mold. Um, we probably won't get to the tails today, uh, but I heard the uh, tracer mold laminates awesome. So I got two cups of the red label the brand new red label we're gonna get these in the mic and um start heating them up but just uh so you know i just grab i don't know what these colors make yet so we got some copper pot we're gonna put on the top and then i want to leave the bottom more clear so we can check out the flake more so the new siren scales from 8-bit baits we're gonna use some ursula and we're gonna see what happens all right, we got, uh, these are just out of the mic, so we'll see exactly how it looks before we, uh, had any, uh, vacuum chamber. Look at the clarity of this stuff. Wow, this is crazy. Very clear. Look at this. Look at that, it looks like water. Very cool. Well, let's put some stuff in here, huh? So, on our belly side, we're gonna use the new Siren Scales and Ursula. Now this is high heat flake, so it can handle uh, reheats and all that kind of stuff. So, we're gonna put a good amount so we can really check this color out. That's it. That's all we're going to do on that side. All right. And then the other side, we're going to take also 8-bit baits, the whoops, copper pot. Now, these color shifting ones, a lot of times uh, to really see the good effects, you want to have some kind of base. So we're going to put a smidgen of that in. And then just to add some kind of backer base, we're going to throw a couple of drops of dead on black on top in there. And I'll just really make the color pop. We'll do two drops of that. All right. So we'll stir this color on. See that copper coming up now? It takes a second for the color to mix thoroughly. The clarity of this stuff is unreal. We might go a little bit heavier. 
on the copper pot. We'll have to see. Because you can see how dark it looks there, but if you look on the knife, I mean, it's still pretty thin. So we're going to, we might get some more of that. Let's get this Ursula stirred in here. I do notice this new red label. Um, it feels kind of like syrupy, almost like a thicker consistency. Look at that thing. You see all those colors in there from that flake? Whoa. Very cool. Look at that. Yeah, let me get stir this in a little bit better. Look at that. Very cool. That should add some nice sparkle. Stir it in real good. And it is high heat, so if you can uh if you have to remelt this stuff, it shouldn't curl it up or nothing. It should stay this nice. Very cool. I think that's good. I noticed this color or this plastisol does set up a little more quicker too. We're gonna do there one more smidgen in here of the copper pot. Just to really drive that color. Yeah, there we go. Now, like I said, it looks really dark, right? But once you stir, you can see it comes out. It's not, it's still thin. Yeah, this stuff sets up a lot quicker than the non phthalate So that's something to re remember. That's probably why it's better for uh, injection molds than open pouring. Because open pouring is kind of about a timing factor. And this sets up really quick. So we're going to, I think these are stirred up. We're going to um, get these in the mic one more time. Get them up the temp. Um put them in the vacuum chamber and get rid of any bubbles if there was any and then we'll get ready to shoot all right here we go let's give it a shot okay just like everything draw nice and slow Make sure your orientation is correct. And then push nice and easy till it stops and hold pressure. Tap it off. Let's check these out and see how they look. Let's check out the blending block first. It's always fun to see. Look at this. Look at this clear. Look at how clear that clear is. That is crazy. Look at that. All right. All right, now we'll check out the new Tracer Shed. First ever pour in. We ain't done this yet. And brand new colors. So this is... Completely new for all of us. Oh, ha. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Get back. Look at that. That is cool. Look at that. 
Oh man, look at all that flake in there. That flake is awesome. And look how clear that plastic cell is. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. That is awesome. It does set up really quick, so uh, for open pouring, it might be kind of difficult. But wow, look at how clear that is. Such an awesome mold, too, from Engling AI, brand new. They got them in the two, three, and four inch. The tail mold fits perfectly. We'll do that another time. Look at that perfect laminates. Very, very cool, man. All right, let's check these new beta out. Pull one off of there. Look at that. Killer body style. The, the design in that mold, how it's got those, that pattern in the belly. And it almost like tapers. You can see it like goes wider at that top right there. So it adds a little bit more meat for the hook. Killer, killer finesse rig. I would just uh, come here. You know. I'd fish them just like that. Ball head right in there. Here, let me go from the back so you can see it. Look at that. Perfect. Whoops. Oh, that'd catch all day. Killer, killer, killer bait. Like I said, they come in the two, three, and four inch. And look at that. Siren flake from 8 bit baits just shining in that bottom. And that cool copper pot top. It's just a nice little flare to it. Here, let me pull all those off. Let's get a look at these. There they are. Look at that shine. Woo! Trickster. Try to sneak away. Look at that. Very cool. Jeez, yeah, those siren scales are crazy cool. Look at that. Wow. Very cool. amazing there you have it man make sure you check out the 8-bit baits siren scales are awesome they just shimmer like crazy in there and uh if you reheat they don't fold a lot of that flake will fold up and stuff when it gets too hot so uh that's awesome that it's high heat uh you know resistant and it can uh withstand reheats a lot and then we did it in the red label. Brand new Plastisaw from Dead On Plastics. Make sure you check it out. Shoots pretty well for uh, injection molding. Um, and it actually runs a little bit cheaper than the non phthalate blend. But remember that it could be more toxic. So make sure you got plenty of ventilation and follow all safety procedures. And then uh, brand new uh, Angling AI Tracer molds. Make sure you uh, go there and check them out. There's one more look at that. Make sure you check them out. They come in the two, three, and four inch. Um, and tail modes for uh, each one too. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, make sure you uh, stay tuned because uh, we just got a package in the mail from a ba another bait maker for a, a new bait maker trade will be coming up soon. So uh Till next time, man, check all these guys out and support your local bait maker. Thanks for hanging out.